اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم وما خلق نسما والارض وما بینہما لاعبین صدق اللہ العظیم رب اشرح لی صدری ویسر لی امری وحل العقدت من لسان یفقہ قولی ریسپیکٹڈ ویورز اور لسنرز السلام علیکم ورحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ The ayah which I have read is from Surah Al-Anbiya, chapter 21, verse number 16. Allah says, وَمَا خَلَقْنَ السَّمَاءَ That we have not created this heaven, وَالْأَرْضَ and the earth, وَمَا بَيْنَهُمَا and whatsoever between. لَاعِبِينَ for mere play and amusement. Chapter 21, verse number 16. What's the summary of that? Allah says that whatsoever I have created, it has some purpose. Nothing is being made without the purpose. And whatsoever between them, that's the main point. Allah is not only limiting towards the heaven, or towards the earth, but whatsoever between them. Everything has some purpose. Subhanallah. And this is what today's science confirmed that every tiny particle, everything, tiniest thing, has some purpose. But we are unable to understand before. And now, due to the evolutionary process of the intellectualism, people are coming to know this fact that there are many things that human beings were unaware. Subhanallah, this is evolutionary process of intellectualism. Today the topic is, there are three kinds of evolutionary processes. And this lecture is basically for the people who have doubts regarding the fields of atheism, agnosticism, or skepticism. Most of the university students, they get caught in this kind of dilemma, ambivalence, and dichotomy regarding to understand the matters of physical world and metaphysical world. You see these philosophies in the universities has lost the purpose. رہ گئی رسم آزان روح بلالی نہ رہی رہ گیا فلسفہ تلقین غزالی نہ رہی We do find the proclamation of آزان five times a day. But there is no spirit of Bilal عنه, the disciple of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. The spirit that the Abyssinian guy, the black guy with thick lips is standing on the roof of Kaaba and proclaiming Azan. That oh, come Muslims, come and stand together. This is the miracle. We have lost it. The spirit is not there. And then many falsafa, philosophies we do study, but talqeen e ghazali, the instructions, the integral values are being lost. This is the problem. We do go to universities, we study there whatsoever they tell us. But unfortunately, we don't have hadaya. Hadaya of Al-Quran, Al-Furqan, Allah says, O Adam, don't be afraid. I will give you hard the guidance to all your generation till doomsday. If you heed and pay attention to that guidance, nothing will come. No harm will come to you. But if you follow the Satan's footsteps, then you will you certainly go astray. And then many negative things come to your life which will make you into put you into great trials tribulations etc 
Today's topic is especially for those people who are getting caught up by these Western philosophies, especially this Darwinism in universities, this natural selection, etc. What is the evolutionary processes we are going through all these kind of stages which opens the door for agnosticism, skepticism onwards. You see in biology and especially in this field, genetics, there is a taxonomy of hominids or hominidae. These kind of classifications we do find in evolutionary books. Most of the things are natural selection about these all animals, they, for the thousands of millions of years, these animals change their forms, etc. Trust me, guys, listen this very carefully, very carefully. No book on the surface of the earth it says that these all anomalies are universal laws. These are theories, speculations, introspections, but it does not prove anything that these all things related to actual the origins of human beings anthropology anthro in greek means man apology means study of man similarly homo means something related to human being and sapiens means intellectualism people are getting confused they make it all hodgepodge and this is Inshallah, today's lecture of mine will open the eyes and remove the doubts of all these anomalies. You see, there are three kinds of processes. I am making it that in evolution we do find. Human beings, when did they start the origin? Nobody knows. All speculations. These all speculations are, be, are being circling around. But there is no 100% universal law that actually these all things happen the way we are being told in the books. So why would we waste our time? You know why? Because of the system, today's era, Fitnight, the Jal, Antichrist, the follower, the slaves of materialistic world, they want all the people to believe in these such nonsense stuff so that you will never be able to pay attention to hereafter. The real life which starts after the death. Whole of the people, they want you to remove the eyes from those kinds of reality. Look, the ayah which I have read in the beginning is the hammer. Allah says that whatsoever I have created on the sama on the heavens and earth and whatsoever between all the animal kingdom including us has a purpose nothing is being made on the idle tales or a mere play and amusement everything has a purpose and we do find these things that everything has a purpose there's nothing on earth without the purpose but some of the things are aware at your sight and some of the things are not but it does not mean that that is wrong. Why do we see the only things we want to see? Or why do we believe only things we only see from our three-dimensional space or with our five senses? Allah and His creation is beyond five senses. Allah has no time in His creation. Allah has nothing. He is not bound by the time. The bound of the timing is for you as after the spring reaction or whatsoever you want to call it. It happened after that. It is your need. Present, past, future. All this past, present, future is not for Allah. Allah knows what he knew and he knows what you're going to do with your free will. He does not need to see you. He knows and he knew what you're going to earn through it. The free will within you, the moral within you, Allah knows. So he does not need the time. Time is for your ease, for your convenience to care the thing, the time. The passage of time is the important tool. It gives you calculations, evaluations in your mind. How to spend your life, punctuation. Otherwise, not needed. God doesn't need that. 
He's beyond time and space, beyond your comprehension of human's little mind. Please don't limit God Almighty. So, the point is that three kinds of processes. Number one is the processes, the process, sorry, about spiritual evolution. What human beings are doing as spirituality, in a spirituality way or in a spiritual way. Second thing is the intellectualism. On the intellect, the level of intellect, evolution is also there. And the third evolutionary process, which we do not accept, which I come to destroy at the end, which is so-called Darwinism, uh, or his natural selection, or something like biologically, people are, have a tendency to change with the period of time, and they just, you know, change their whole system into another system, then to another system, then to another system. We don't believe that. First of all, first two processes. First two processes is actually the reality. And people get confused and they mix with the third one. And when you mix this with the third one, that's your gravest mistake. How? You see, the taxonomy given by these genetics, the study of people who, or statisticians who do study regarding this human sociology, this philosophy, bio, biological stuff, genetics, all these kind of things, what they have taxonomy, according to them, the origins of human beings, homo sapiens, or you can say the anthropological subjects, they tell you that the origins of human beings have the main name hominidae. And hominidae come hominids. Hominids after that you have many, you know, faces like gorillas and they have the same taxonomy family and then keep going on, keep going on. After that you have new and they're tall. Those people are extincted. And then you have this homo erectus. Erect means erect something. You are standing up and the humans start walking by standing up with the stature and the body. And this is called Homo erectus. Then Homo erectus change into Homo sapiens, etc. These all things are speculations. All things are speculations. Human beings, according to Islam, according to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, Adam alayhi salam came with the same intellectualism which human beings are exfoliating. Allah says, oh Adam, we have given you all, we have taught you the, all the names, the common nouns, proper nouns. And now human beings genetically, evolutionary process of intellectualism, genetically they are getting this, sharing the knowledge of Adam salam, which was inbreded in him. And we are sharing it through the gradually, the period of time. When Prophet ﷺ came, the Philosophy on the grounds of socio-political economic system reached to the culminating point in the human's history. And that is why he is the last prophet. Nothing new been taught after the demise of Prophet Muhammad. Peace. You tell me what human beings learn. Nothing. They have the system. They are just manipulating it. Nothing new is given. Research on yourself. Nothing. Science is exfoliating. Political laws are exfoliating or manipulating. Economical laws, political laws or social laws, all these laws are being manipulated, adulterated on the grounds of evil or on the grounds of change, etc. But the things are finished, ended. Human intellectualism on the grounds of learning ability has reached or had reached to the highest culminating point at the time of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Nothing comes after him. If there is, show me. You are exfoliating it. That's all. You are just spreading it. You are making it to cultivate in the human beings. That is all. Har ko ja bini jahane rango bu. Wherever you find the things of morality, the knowledge, the supremacy of anything in the humans, humans conduct. Har ko ja bini jahane rung bu wa ke as khakish baroya dar zu ya ze nure mustafa ura bahas ya hanuze andar talashe mustafas. Either these all human beings subconsciously following Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, 
or they are unaware of his teachings. Either way, you lose the case. Either way, you're following him by the hook or by the crook or by the ignorance. But you have to follow Muhammad because Muhammad is whatever he gave us. That is the culminating point of human history. You don't need any further instructions. Culminating point in all the fields respectively. So this is the point I was making. So yes, we do believe in the evolutionary process of spiritualism. To communicate with God Almighty. Yes, there is Allah. Allah says, see your horizon, see everything in front of you. See your own existence. If you try to deny Allah, then tell me how did you come about without nothing? You see people challenging that we created this, we, cre we create that, we create, we do genetics, we do this, we do test baby, you know, baby test tube and we can, you know, uh, manipulate genetics and all that stuff. We can produce, we can change the sexes, we can change, do this, we can make uh, artificial organs, we can, we are gods. What Allah says in the Quran, why are you wasting time? Allah says, produce the wing of a mosquito, produce the wing of a mosquito. Do not waste your time. Allah didn't say that, that manipulate the matter and produce something. Wood is given, you manipulated it and produce into secondary sector, then to tertiary sector, and you produce that into chair and table. Allah didn't ask it. Allah said, produce the wing of a mosquito. Produce it out of nothing. That is the challenge. How tiny thing is the wing? Can you make the properties of the wing? No. You can only change and manipulate other properties and you make something like of the wing. But you cannot produce wing out of nothing. That is the challenge. You are not paying attention to that. God Almighty says in the Holy Quran, stop the death. Let's see who, who, is, who was able to stop the death at his time or now even now. Let's see who has guts to stop the death, which is inevitable phenomena phenomenon stop it that is what Allah is saying the challenge which Allah is giving you follow that challenge don't make your own challenges and you know derail people from the straight path you can't this is not the challenge produce something out of nothing matter is given to you you are manipulating it you are not God God has given you this intellect to, to manipulate <laughs> you don't have any ability to produce show me where is the production of that you are manipulating it. So, spiritual, communicating with God Almighty through prophets giving you message. And this has reached to its final stage. And now, Fitna Dajjal, the commotions of Antichrist is the main purpose to remove, to show you that evolutionary processes of spiritualism it has no place on this dunya. It's all false. It's all your personal feelings. It's all something created in your, you see the prefrontal lobe area. And this is all emotions. These all things is in your part like an animal. So forget it. So why? What happened? Then human will become like an animal. Because if there's no religion, there's no akhlaqiyat, no good conducts, morality, nothing, everything. You will be act like a human being. Worse than pigs and swines. So remove this part. No, that is the reality which the kuffar do not want. Atheists do not want because it provides social, social justice. They don't want it. Second, evolutionary process of intellectualism. Insan gradually, human beings are gradually increasing their knowledge to the passage of the token of time. Allah has given them. Analogical induction to analogical deduction. Inferring, to see, infer, think, contemplate, make something, input, then output. Then you have the previous data, that mix that data into the new data the computer has given. Then match this data and take out the third result. Theories. And then those theories, if they are too much convinced, convincible towards all the scientists, it becomes the universal law. But every law, even the universal law, has the tendency to change over the period of time. Because science is not culminating point. Human beings are learning, continuously learning. And subhanAllah, this intellectual thing is different us from the animals. Allah says in Surah, chapter uh, Rome, 
Allah says in chapter 1, verse, uh, chapter 30, verse number 20 and 21, Allah says that the changes, the variances in your faces, color and the tongues are the miracles of God. Do we see any animals who have same faces? Do we see any animals? No. The only mammal who is walking on the surface of the earth who can speak who can be able to speak the use of utterance to express himself to express itself and speak and variances in the tongue language and color and face only human beings subhanallah no other animals on earth whatever you call us the only people who are only animals according to biology human beings who has these all abilities that is what Allah says you are the best one of the best creation that is enough proof to debunk the theory of Darwinism all the animals have same faces they could not express they can speak their own languages but they are unable to express the feelings we can express our feelings from our mouth that is the miracle talk about that Bring any person or you this hominids and all this stupid nonsense. Bring those people and tell me why they look alike. Why their faces were not different. Why they're different tongues. No. The only animals and that is Allah. Says, Ar-Rahman. Merciful God. Allam al-Quran. He has taught you the Quran. Khalaq al-Insan has created insan. Allamahu al-Bayan. So the definition of human beings is that he is, be, he is able to express himself. If any animal you find on the surface of the earth and which cannot communicate, it's not insan. Don't waste people time. Remember this. It's not insan. This is second process. The last one, the third process is, process you call it, evolutionary, which is false of Darwinism still theory. That is enough proof I already have given you that you should be what you should do the people who believe in this nonsense you should create something show me the people in the middle for example this homo erectus show me why the homo erectus are still alive or sorry extincted and the gorillas are still alive where the middle part of all the people of taxonomy gone away where did they go and why their faces are similar why the human beings faces are changed you know why because Allah says he created insan and those hominids whatsoever fossils if you really true if you really found those fossils all these fossils in the Tanzania I think so somewhere like places like that and you research the good those could be animals Allah says in the Quran that we have created animals who walked on two legs four legs so they could be animals why are you telling them that they are then the taxonomy of human beings this is our you know, exception. Don't bring those people into human's taxonomy. You can make, bring them into any taxonomy. Human beings are alone. Their birth are and the origins are alone. And nobody is able to deny till yet. And that is the truth. All those people you created, oh sorry, people, all those the things, the pictures you have, those are different species, different animals. Some were extincted, some were not. Like gorillas are still there. But the only thing, which is, which is able to express differences in the faces, color, and all those things are the human beings. And that is the human being. Talk about that. Produce something from the human being that those people were different and we are different.